Good morning guys, as many of you know, I have been traveling for the past three months. I have taken a break from everything. It's something that's planned for two months, uh, actually two years, not two months. It's been planned for two years and we, me and my friend Ethan went down to South America. Now, uh, because of this, I wanna get right back into the YouTube channel. I haven't been updating as much as I want to. I've only been throwing some vlogs up of what I've been doing while I've been traveling. Now that that is over, I have flown to the Philippines. I spent a couple weeks in the US to see my family. I have flown to the Philippines. I'm in Manila right now and I'm flying to Dabo to meet up with my team. Now, today I wanna answer a question that I received a couple months ago about virtual assistants. Now, virtual assistants can come in handy in basically any business that you run online, whether that be a drop shipping store, whether that be an Amazon account, whether that be a personal brand or a online business such as a software business. These guys can really help drive your business further and be a cost effective way to really scale your business as you're growing. Now, the rates for VAs in the Philippines vary greatly depending on what kind of skill that you're trying to get for your business, whether that be a video editor, a SEO expert, a web designer, a just a assistant in general, someone that will do your social media accounts and so on and so forth. The rates will vary greatly, but there's a couple key cities that really have virtual assistants or people that will work with you. And the best thing about the Philippines is the majority of individuals in this country speak English. So you're gonna get more native speakers than you would if you go to any other country. Now the rates vary um, in general from $3 an hour all the way up to $10, $15 an hour, but on the average, I would say four to seven. And you don't have to hire full time, you can hire task-based, so every task costs X amount of dollars, or you can hire part-time, so you're gonna work with them for 20 hours a week, or full-time, 40 hours a week. Now I have friends that have virtual assistants in Davao and the Philip uh, and Manila, um, they have some of them have two, some have all the way up to ten. So this is very scalable. Now, if you get to a point where you need more than one or two virtual assistants, I would either work with a virtual assistant company that's going to help manage these individuals that are working with you, or set up your own shop in Davao or Manila and come to. Uh, the Philippines and visit with your virtual assistants on a semi-regular basis. Now, if you're based in Asia, Thailand, Bali, uh, Ma uh, Malaysia, and so on, that becomes very simple. Uh, a flight on Air Asia is of less than $100 round trip, usually to the Philippines, and you can come uh, for a few days at a time every few months. And then using tracking software and Skype, or Upwork or other tools to really have a complete understanding of what your VAs are doing on a day-to-day -day basis will help you with your virtual assistants. I personally am very trustworthy of my VA. He is great. He actually works on multiple parts of my business. We mainly communicate over Skype and email. Um, I do not track him very often. Uh, we have done tracking in the past, but it's something that we haven't continued to do because he just creates such great work for me that there's a trust there on a regular basis. Now, he also does video work for me sometimes, so I actually plan on flying him to Thailand in the future to see me and work on projects that we um, have in the works. Now, I am here to plan out the rest of the year. So I'm here for two weeks. I'm going to fly to Davo today and sit down with James, his name is James, and go over the different projects we're working on, timelines, what we need to deliver, and what our expectations are together. He's a very great creative mind. Um, I found an individual that's absolutely outstanding to work with. So actually bouncing ideas off uh, him as well as something I plan on doing these next two weeks. He's also going to show me the Philippines so I get the benefit of seeing this country for the first time. And then he will introduce me to other virtual assistants, other networks, um, co-working spaces, and so on. So I, as I grow the business, have ins and networks already to leverage. So if you're looking to do 
uh, work with a virtual assistant. There's many places to do it. I'll link some below so that way you guys can check them out and find relevant information. But I highly recommend jumping on the VA bandwagon if you have the uh, finances to do so and you're looking to scale your business. Doing everything by yourself in the beginning is great, but as you're trying to scale your business, having the VAs on your team that are trustworthy, that are loyal to your work, will help you grow exponentially. And make sure you build relationships with your team as well. You need to make sure that you are growing something long term and that this will benefit both you and them. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe, and share it if uh, you think it can help a friend. And I will keep you guys updated. I'm back, so I'll be coming uh, with more questions and answers, more e-commerce videos, more Amazon videos, and videos to help you out on your journey. I'll see you guys on the next one.